guys, your girl Jen. Another episode of Ladies First. And today I have another young lady who's making a ton of noise all over the uh, all over music right now. And on social media, I would say she's a pretty big social media influencer. We have Pia Mia. What's good? How Pia, are what's you? going on? Just chilling. First off, fly fit. Thank loving you. it. Always I'm loving the vibe. Always gotta have high boots. Always <laughs> gotta have it. Plaid is always dope. So <laughs> Pia, um, there's a lot of things that people don't know about you. Mm -hmm. They see you as an artist. You're a very fashionable woman. Obviously, if you follow Thank her you. on Instagram, <laughs> it's Princess Pia Mia. Yes. Uh, but your story is so deep, so amazing, and very inspiring. So Thank let's you. start off where you're from. Not a lot of people can say this, but you're from Guam. Yes. Not every day you meet someone from Guam. I know, right? It's I feel like it's kind of random when you do. Yeah, it's special. It's one of a kind. So tell us about how it was growing up there and yeah. your family and life and things like that. Yeah, so I'm from Guam, born and raised native to Guam. My whole family's still back there. Mm -hmm. um, growing up on Guam was very chill, very low key, laid back. You spend a lot of time with your family. Uh, you barbecue on the beach a lot. Um, you see like generations living under one roof so, under one roof so Guam is very family oriented and the culture is very rich there um, so my whole family is still there I try to go back as often as I can and they all come out to Los Angeles and you know we make it a whole thing to see each other and stick together but coming from Guam I think is really special it gives me a different perspective I think on the music industry and just on you know being able to live out my dreams because you're legitimately an, an island girl you yeah. know, it's mm -hmm. really, uh, it's very cultured and it's very traditional. Is that right? Yes. Uh, on your island. So that's really cool. So how did you jump from getting into the music world and pursuing that? Yeah. So I started singing back on my home island when I was about eight years old in mm -hmm. a school play. Um, Cinderella was really how it started. Cinderella. Aww, yeah. Love it. And then um, from there, I kind of just sang in all the school musicals that I could. Then my mm -hmm. theater, musical theater director left. Mm -hmm. So then I started singing for Japanese weddings. Oh, really? Because oh, the that's industry, random. Yeah, the industry on Guam is tourism. Oh, so the Japanese come gotcha. there. To, we have these beautiful glass chapels right on the beach. So mm -hmm. they come there to get married. So I started doing that. For, I sang for government events. Basically everywhere I could. And then when I was about 13 or 14, my parents let me come out to the States. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to stay in Los Angeles for three months. But everything kind of just kept coming together and I've been there about four or five years now. So that takes a lot for someone to kind of leave their homeland, their hometown to kind of yeah. live somewhere else that they're totally new to. Yeah, I just, the second I started singing, I knew music was what I wanted to do mm -hmm. and I just worked really hard every day you know, to be able to fight for my dreams and accomplish my goals. And my whole family has been really supportive. My grandparents, my aunts and uncles, everyone has really you know, made an effort to help me stay out in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, I just moved into my dream building. So I feel like my dreams are starting to come to life and I'm getting to see everything kind of unfold. But, you know, it's just been a lot of hard work. And speaking of hard work, you know, outside of music and, and things like that, Pia actually has done a ton of humanitarian things, yes. which is crazy, crazy dope and amazing. Like I said, inspiring. Um, can you share a little bit of what you've done? She's she's still a yeah. young lady. You're just 18 years old. And yeah. You're out here, you know, helping people, saving lives. You're changing people's lives. It's, it's just it's cool. It's Music cool as hell. Music is so powerful. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I did humanitarian tours with my school, um, performing our school musicals and um, you know using music to raise money for kids with cleft palates and angel programs and orphanages and we would travel to Singapore and Kuala Lumpur all over Malaysia and um, you know help these help these people in need get what they needed and um, to be able to do that through music is just so special for me and I definitely want to continue being able to do that. And I'm sure now you have a platform obviously to do that. When you when you travel the world and met all these people, mm -hmm. uh, what I guess how how were they in comparison to how mm -hmm. we were living? Mm -hmm. Or as far as their dreams and goals and yeah, aspirations? I was really young when I did these humanitarian tours. I okay. was probably 12, 13, 14. So, so did you know what like what you were doing? It was the kind of like, all right, I'm hitting these tours. Um, I'm just traveling. I definitely knew what I was doing, but... Um, you know, I had never experienced like living in Los Angeles. You know, I just really only knew island life, mm -hmm. which is very, you know, just laid back and simple. So, um, I mean, obviously going to these places, seeing these people, 
needing money for cleft palate surgeries is something that not every 12 year old sees. Um, you know, seeing kids in orphanages that don't have school supplies, you mm -hmm. know, is not something everyone gets to experience. So being able to see these people and know that I helped them in some type of way is, is very special. And I think is something that was really motivating for me because my dreams aren't to be famous. My dreams are to be helping inspire people and help people. See, this is why I have her on Ladies First. <laughs> this is exactly what Ladies First is all about. Motivating, inspiring, I love it. Yes. So let's talk about you going to LA. Now when you enter the city of LA, mm -hmm. what was your first reaction? Cause I don't know if they have buildings, I mean skyscrapers like that out in Guam, but yeah. I'm sure it was a total 360. Coming to LA to be in the music industry, that was a whole different world for me. Mm -hmm. I had no idea how to even get into music or mm how to go about pursuing this but um you know it really was fate it kind of started off I walked into a cafe that's really how i got my first production deal is just randomly one of the producers baby faces producers wives was there mm -hmm. asked me if i was a singer long story short ended up signing to him for a year okay so that's really where i learned the ropes of how to record how to make a song learned that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. then um you know, met some friends along the way, started working with them through music after that contract ended. And then Sophia Amoruso, the owner of Nasty Gal, kind of picked me up to model for her brand. Okay. And that helped me get exposure. And through that, I met one of my um, first managers. His name is Nima. Mm -hmm. And he manages Nick Knack, who's a huge producer. Okay. And, um, you know, he kind of put us in the studio together. He introduced me to this guy named Boo, who... Um, my label and his label partnered to form Wolfpack. Okay. So Boo has been, you know, a big mentor for me and has really taught me a lot about the music industry. And, um, you know, from there I kind of worked on music, made some insane songs, got signed off those records. Mm -hmm. And here I am, made my own label, signed to Interscope, putting out my first single with Chris Brown and Tyga. It's just kind of a whirlwind. Doing a lot. At such a young age, which yeah. is dope. So the Wolf Pack, talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. What is the Wolf Pack? How do you be a part of the Wolf Pack right. and, so and all that? The Wolf Pack was kind of created uh, during a song, during a session where we made a song about wolves and the Wolf Pack. Mm -hmm. um, and that was uh, with Nick Knack and Mark Griffin. We created this song. And so from there, we kind of started calling ourselves, oh, yeah, we're the Wolf Pack. And then um, started putting it on Twitter. And then the fans kind of became part of the Wolf Pack. And then I uh, made this label called Wolf Pack Entertainment. And so Wolf Pack is kind of the movement. It's okay. the family. Okay. I feel like it's kind of the vibe of my music. Like when people are like, oh, what do you do? I'm just like, yeah, I do Wolf Pack music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of everything, you know, it's just the family, the movement. Yeah, and you guys are obviously moved now. I mean, you signed with Interscope, so that's really crazy. Yes. Another crazy story is you actually, it was all over social media. Um, there was this video of you singing in front of Drake and Kanye West. Mm -hmm. What balls does someone have to do <laughs> that? Singing in front of these two superstars. What was your feelings like doing yeah. that? Were you kind of like, I'm just going to do this and, and kill it? or? Well, um... I was nervous. I mean, I'm I didn't, sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kanye kind of had started the whole thing and mm -hmm. was like, "Yo, Drake, this is Pia Mia. She's an amazing singer. She has such great style." Um, and then was like, "Pia, sing for Drake." So I was obviously nervous, but um, you know, getting to sing sing back Drake his own song that I totally changed was a little mm -hmm. awkward. And just <laughs> let him know what song he sang. <laughs> uh, sang the Going Home cover mm -hmm. that I did. Um, it was cool though, like being able to hear Drake and Kanye both say that they think I'm very talented is also like crazy. That's a, that's a big cosign right yeah. there. Yeah, but it was cool. Any chances of a collaboration with Hopefully these two? Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day, yeah, that'd be great. And I don't know if you have to see, hope maybe we can post it up with this video, but that's how I was actually put on to you. I really? saw that. I was like, oh, shit, this girl can blow. <laughs> oh, thank like, you. Like, she can really sing. And that's another thing, you guys. Pia isn't just a regular old female artist out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? She really has a voice. And I just want to let you, you know that because there's a lot of women out there obviously trying to be artists and stuff. So speaking of that, how mm -hmm. do you feel like you stand out from all the rest that's out there in the market right now? How do I feel like I stand out? Yeah, because um, there's a lot of young women trying to do what you're doing. Yeah. 
Well, for one thing, I, since I'm from an island, mm -hmm. I always want to keep that kind of vibe in my music. Mm -hmm. Nothing too in your face, but you know, I always like to have a hint of the island flavor. Um, I think how I also stand out is I'm just very involved. My music is exactly who I am. Their experiences, the experiences that I talk about are from my life. You know, I'm involved in the production side. I'm very, like what you see is really who I am. I'm, I love fashion. Um, I used to be really shy, so the way that I got comfortable expressing myself was through fashion and through music. So mm -hmm. I feel like even now, talking doesn't really get across how I'm feeling uh -huh. or, or what I'm trying to say. I feel like in my music and in my fashion is where you can really see who I am. I would say too, yeah, besides the music thing, it's also your fashion. You're definitely a fashionista for sure. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of girls love you for that. You mm -hmm. and your good friend Kylie Jenner too. You both are are the core young women right now, I think, in the fashion game that is killing it. Oh, thank you. So how long does it take you to put an outfit together? <laughs> you know what I mean? How, how long yeah. does it take you to shop? And what are your favorite pieces right now? Trends. Some of my favorite pieces, uh, I just got this new grill. It's oh, rose gold with diamonds. Can we zoom in on that? Is it possible? Show okay. that grill off. Blinging, popping. Does that hurt putting it in? No, it's, it feels like a retainer, like in your mouth. You know, like once you start wearing it, you don't really it's realize that there it's there anymore. anymore. Fly. But I'm obsessed with my grill. Um, obviously, my bandana is something I always have on. And mm -hmm. these thigh high boots. I have them in black also. Everyone's like, stop wearing those. But I'm like, yo, I'm obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of what I do. I just wear things until I'm so over it that <laughs> I just can't take it anymore. But And what kind of inspirations, uh, who do you draw your inspirations from as far as style and stuff? Yeah, so growing up on Guam, there weren't too many places to shop. So I always just had to be kind of creative and use my imagination for fashion. Really? Um, so I would just take clothes from like my dad's closet or my sister or my mom and kind of try to... Um, tailor their clothes to be my style really and mix it up like that so I, I usually just like use my imagination or I just go to tumblr tumblr is, has, is a great place to see fashion there's so many different vibes you can find on there have you ever has it ever crossed your mind to start your own fashion line or just to uh, start small maybe with like you said accessories or yeah um you know i've kind of started my line it's called leah oh, okay the so leah there collection. is a line okay yeah it's just in the works it's very new you know okay. i'm still trying to decide exactly what direction i want to go with it and um you know how like how mainstream I want it to go. I'm s it's still in the works, but okay. um, definitely fashion. A fashion line is, is going to be a big part of, I think, my career. There is so much that she's doing, you guys. I'm just like interested I can't in keep... a lot of things. No, and that's <laughs> great. You know, uh, there's a lot of young women like your age who just don't really care for this stuff. They're kind of like, all right, just want to hang with friends and do whatever. But with you here, you're trying to build like an empire, yeah, which is just, really cool. I feel like work is like the only thing that I've ever really known. And I feel like when I started singing, I kind of lost a lot of friends. So I've never been that girl that like has a lot of friends. I've always worked really hard. And so I think that's why. You know, I'm, I'm interested in so many things and I'm doing so many different things because that's what I know. Did you lose friends because of, of envy, re envious reasons or was I it kind of like you I guys was, just fell apart? I was just so young. I think when you're eight years old and you know what you want to do. I keep forgetting, yeah, something like 22, something, <laughs> no, eight years old. Yeah, I think that's just confusing for yeah. other kids around you and I think they just didn't really understand and maybe didn't really know how to handle it. So I have a small circle of friends that are really close to me and, mm -hmm. you know, I have a huge family, so. So your music, what, how would you explain your sound to people who've never heard you before? What is like the Pia Mia record? Yeah, hmm. I would explain my sound as rhythmic pop. Okay. Um, I like to go out of the box with my music though. I don't like to stick in one genre. So if I had to, that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. But I like slow ballads that really display vocals. And then I like super poppy records and I like really urban records. And then, mm -hmm. you know, I like a balance of kind of the pop urban vibe, which would be like the more rhythmic sound. So personally, I kind of like to go everywhere with my music. Uh -huh. Um, do it again, obviously is mm -hmm. a pop rhythmic summer song that has a little bit of an island flair to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I kind of go everywhere. I kind of go all over the place. Hey, well, speaking of that, who are some of your musical influences, women in particular, mm -hmm. that you just looked up to and kind of try to emulate? Yeah, women in particular. So again, on Guam, you don't get very many artists that come to perform live. Yeah. So when I 
became interested in music, I started studying on YouTube. I'd watch Celine Dion and Beyonce and Michael Jackson. And, um, you know, Celine in particular is someone who I really look up to. I love all of her music. I think she's such, she's so strong. She doesn't even have to say anything. Like, just the way her eyes Yeah, and she does that you, thing. Like, you just have, deep. yeah, you can just feel her passion, I think, even just, like, in her looks. But Celine is someone who is a huge influence for me vocally, performance-wise, mm -hmm. just overall. Is there a possible chance we can get a taste of one of your favorite Selena songs? Yeah, sure. You sing for yeah, um, down? I'm down. My Love is one of my favorite songs of hers. Okay. I could give you a little taste of that. Yes, let's do it. I'm just going to throw stuff at Pia right okay. now and see what she can handle. Okay. Let me think of a title. Sure. Okay. My love, we have seen it all. The endless confession, the rise and fall. As fragile as a child. But lately I'm sorry I can't hold a smile. I'm smiling, see my big smile on my face? <laughs> it just That's makes you want to smile. <laughs> So I feel good. like I totally shot my vocals from screaming so loud on the slingshot so today. So Pia, yeah, said she went to Coney Island, shot to Brooklyn, and mm -hmm. went on the slingshot ride. It's so scary. I, like, <laughs> in my mind before the ride went off, I was like, I'm not going to scream because I'm fully going to damage my vocals. And I screamed <laughs> as hard as I ever had in my life, like, the whole time. You can't help it because that is a crazy ride. It's like, a lot of balls to do that. Even when the ride stopped and you're just, like, hanging up there and they got to bring you down, I'm like, just that's screaming. the part. Yes. Because you, yeah, people so forget scary. that you just don't go up and down. <laughs> it's it's so like scary. a slow descent. <laughs> yeah. That's some scary stuff. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pia, can I throw a couple more songs at you? Is that okay. cool? And so you say you did musicals. Yes. Uh, name some musicals you've done. Some musicals I've done. Well, I started off with Cinderella. That's how I even got into music. Mm -hmm. um, so I've done Cinderella. I've done Les Miserables. Mm -hmm. um, I've done The Mikado. Okay. Um, let me think. What else did I do? You I did a part, like, we did parts of Wicked. Okay. Um, and you mentioned Little Mermaid, right? Yes. We did and Little I'm a Mermaid. Disney geek. Mm -hmm. Ladies, I know you understand. Um, can you bless us a little, Ariel? Yeah. Are you going to do it with me? No, I can't. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> okay. Be out of tone. Out of tone. Is that what you call it? Out Not of key? Out of key. key. Off key. Yeah. My pitch will be off. Okay. The whole shebang and all those other phrases. Okay. I'll, um, I'll sing a little part. Okay. Um, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? I love the lip I'm sync. <laughs> I love the lip sync. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Such a di and that's one of my favorite songs. Hello. <laughs> and of course, the last one, I got to say this because today is Michael Jackson's anniversary of his passing. Mm -hmm. uh, while you're watching this, it would have been last week. But... Let's let's end this and wrap this up with a little MJ. You got okay. anything in there? Yeah, I do. Um, I could do Earth Song or I could do PYT. Well, you could do whatever you want, babe. Okay. Anything you want, but this is for the king. Okay. So we gotta rock it. <laughs> you ready? Sure. Okay. Where did you come from, baby? And ooh, won't you take me there right away, won't you, baby? Tenderoni, you've got to be. Spark my nature, sugar, fly with me. Now don't you know now is the perfect time. We can make it right, hit the city lights. Then tonight is the love and pain. We're gonna take it to the max. I, I want to love you. I'm sorry, I had to. Yes, <laughs> I had to jump in there. I love Damn, I should have messed it up. I should have let you keep going. That no, was so good. You killed I see? totally felt your vibe. And that's just a little bit of Pia Mia. Next yeah. time when I get her back here, we'll definitely have a full on performance. You can see how she rocks. Yeah, that'll be so fun. So thank you so much, Pia, for coming through. Thank you for having me. And we're going to just do one last cute segment, quick segment. Mm -hmm. It's this or that. I always do it on my show. And okay. it's quick, rapid fire questions. Okay, I'm excited. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so Pia, can you Pia, Mia, Pia, yeah. Mia? Sure, whatever works for you, girl. Okay, so Pia or Princess P, <laughs> this is the part of the show we do this or that. It's rapid fire questions, kind of so our viewers can get to know you a little better. Cool. So two things are going to pop up on the screen, okay? Yeah. So it's going to be, I don't know, bandanas or plaid shirts. And you just got to say each, which one you like, bandanas okay. or whatever. It's very it. simple, okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's do it. Relax on the islands of Guam or run the busy streets of L.A.? Ooh. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Love is Relax on the island of Guam. <laughs> Get a feature from Beyonce or Rihanna. Ooh, that's a tough one. Girl, this is what this is that Do about. Do I have to pick just one? Mm-hmm. Man. Maybe B, because I studied her so much. B? Yeah. Final answer? Beyonce. Beyonce. Okay. Aladdin or Cinderella? Cinderella. Thousand percent. Red Love or Mr. President? Ooh. <laughs> oh, they're both so real. Um... Oh, I'm going to go with Red Love because it's so raw and just so emotional. Partying at a club or soaking up the vibes at a fiesta? Fiesta. All the way. For you go on all the way, life, baby. Fiesta. <laughs> uh, Pagua or coconut candy? Coconut candy. Cat and Pika or Caliguin? Ooh, I love Caliguin. Oh, Cat and Pika is so good too. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, Caliguin. Be the face of Dior or have the number one song on the charts for 10 weeks? Number one song for 10 weeks. Yeah. A lot of people die for Dior, but no, this is your this or that. Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> um, more romantic, candlelit dinner or riding on the back of a bike during sunset? Candlelit dinner. Nice. Oh, you're a romantic I'm girl. I'm such a romantic. Me too. Uh, bigger turn on, confidence or creativity? <laughs> stop it, her. I love it. Good. Um, uh, you got to love someone who's creative, but confidence is so important too. Which one stands out the most? <laughs> Confidence. <laughs> Confidence, all right. Which wolf pack would you rather chill with? The hangover crew or entourage? <laughs> but the hangover crew is the wolf pack. <laughs> Do you remember that? The yes. Movie? Well, that's why I mentioned that. Man. So that so here's my dilemma. So the hangover crew is the wolf pack, but then mm -hmm. entourage reminds me of a group oh. of guy friends that I have. Exactly. All right, entourage. Entourage? Yeah. Yeah. What's worse, forgetting lyrics during the Grammys or leaked fake nudes? Probably forgetting lyrics at the Grammys. That's pretty embarrassing for sure. Yeah. I feel like nudes, like whatever. We all know what every body looks like, you know? <laughs> it's nothing new, not like something new is going to pop up, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like. <laughs> and finally, if you could only get singing advice from one person forever, would it be Mariah Carey or Celine Dion? Celine Dion. All the way. All the way. Didn't have to think about it twice. Mm -hmm. Good? Yes. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Thanks, Pia. See, I love it, too. That's why we have it here. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank stopping you. by. Can you let them know where you can find your music or yes. all your stuff at? All my music is on iTunes. You could just look up Pia Mia. Make sure you all check out my first official single, Do It Again, featuring Chris Brown and Tyga. And the video will also be available on Vivo. And um, I'm on socials, Instagram and Twitter, Princess Pia Mia, Snapchat, Princess Pia Mia P. She's out here. Remember, it's ladies first.